Hello guys, welcome to my Venom Gaia 3.8 build. So Venom Gaia, a new skill. Uh, basically, you are shooting a bunch of shurikens that returns back as dagger, right? So having the dagger charges, if you use your wielding blade, you can release all of them all. Quite a good damage, right? And you have your click bearer, very strong skill currently for poison build, a lot of damage. Recharging step is just like a buff, you know. It's, you wanna activate it constantly. So yeah, running it on assassin. The reason why assassin is very good for Venom Gaia, basically for all poison build, right? Venom, um, assassin has become a more poison oriented ascendance ascendancy. So you can see that his skill has more of like a poison kind of theme. That's why um, we are running assassin has a lot of poison creed um, you could probably run other class like dead eye or something if you want pierce for your venom gaia but assassin should be fine right and this build is my lead starter for this build very cheap build uh, we are running two war snares you can run dagger as well um, either way should be fine just change your skill tree to suit the dagger style right because we are running claw so we take a lot of claw notes but if you are running dagger you can get dagger stuff up here i think this one is dagger no this one is dagger this one is dagger so you can probably just change around it's around the same basically um boss nest is a very strong up to late game weapon you could probably use all the way if you intend to invest more you can get better claws which are very rare rarely you can find good claws right this claw provides so much and it's so cheap, about 2-3 to three chaos. So it's just good enough unless you really want to beat max and optimize all the way, invest a lot, fine. Um, armor set, I'm using a very cheap uh, Dan Drobat armor set. So this armor set, a lot of damage but no HP, that's the downside. right? That's why um, another armor set I'm recommending is this one the yours fostering ladder armor set this one has hp a lot of damage as well um, good for poison build but i have to be careful when buying one because it says bleeding you can see bleeding there is main and there is poison so you have to make sure you get the ones that you want actually all of them are okay but of course you are running poison build is better if you get poison right so poison are slightly more expensive uh, for the yours fostering armor okay so chest dagger all covered um, for helmet stucco giant helmet is a pretty good helmet give hp attack speed create and all this kind of stuff um, you could probably run other kind of helmet that give hp and resistance if you need but i think stucco giant is a really good and cheap option and uh, basically your other items are just to fill up your resistance and if you have good enough resistance you can just go for slightly damage side like a uh, quick multiplier on your amulet and all this kind of stuff but you want that all of them to have hp because this build uh, really need the hp right so for this build running um, acrobatic so because we don't have very high armor or HP, acrobatic is very important to help sustain. And this build, the good thing is that it has a lot of leech. So we can leech a lot. And that is also the downside. Our survivability comes from leeching. So if max doesn't allow us to leech, we cannot play the map. Um, what are the other stuff about this build? This build doesn't have chill, stun, resistance, so your flask must have this kind of immunity. Otherwise, you will die really fast with click bearer. And our aura, we are running Harry of Agony, Harry of Ice. Um, because we are running crit, having ice damage, cold damage is very good because you can shatter them. And with Harry of Ice, it starts to spread the cold damage, so we can shatter a lot of enemies at one go. And this build is pretty budget friendly and if you intend to invest more, I think this build should be really fairly strong to probably get up to late game. I'm currently level 80, um, my resistance is not even max, HP about 3k, very 
weak items, right? Falling, I'm able to do um, up to tier tier 9, no problem, tier 8, tier 9. This one is what? 5, 6, 7, 8, tier 8, right? No problem. Um, really depends on how you want to build this character. So let me show you some gameplay. I actually went and played a little bit of the map. Previously, I was recording a, the build guide, you know, and it was lagging so badly, that's why I stopped. So, let me just show you some of the damage this you can do. You can see, um, pretty sweet damage, you will say. So, and you have to at remember to activate quick bearer, and because, and just run through all the enemies and they'll die pretty damn fast. Um, one thing about this skill is that it's very very laggy but I can see that our sustain is so good, our leech and all this kind of stuff. We have although our HP is about only 3k but we leech a lot. Uh, but it's very laggy when I play this build, that's why I stopped playing this build. There's too much uh, projectiles and toxic effect that it makes the computer lag pretty bad. But if you have a pretty decent computer this build should be okay, otherwise this build can be quite uh, not a very good build to play. If you have a very weak computer, you can see there's a lot of projectiles, very very laggy. Uh, but very good damage for a 4 link and little investment, right? Uh, probably I invest like less than 10 chaos, right? 3 chaos, 2 chaos, three, about 3 3 chaos, about less than 10 chaos, about 10 chaos probably. Very very cheap build, but very very laggy at the same time, so downside boys that's the downside if you wanna play this build i'm not sure how um the video is how laggy it is on the video but it's fucking laggy and i cannot stand playing this build oh my god it's so laggy but the damage is so good right look i freaking melt everything on the map you telling me this build is not good i fucking melt everything right so but it depends on the computer as well. Uh, when you're playing Power of Cell, yes, there are some builds that you cannot play due to PC limitations or how laggy it is. This is one of those builds that is extremely laggy but very cheap and powerful. Um, Wasp Nest is so strong, I really like the Wasp Nest. It's a really cheap option. Oh, let's take this portal screw and teleport back. So, that being said, I think this is a very good league starter build or like a build if you really want to play a poison build this is a good uh, good start right very little investment in it and this build is very versatile you don't have to really play venom gaia you could try cobra lash just change the gem just take out venom gaia put cobra lash put viper strike all works the same because we are running essentially just critical and everything is the same everything is the same so you can try different skills out when you're leveling i think cobra lash is a very good option to level up with because at the start venom gaia doesn't feel very smooth to play with cobra lash is very smooth but at the later game i think venom gaia deals more damage overall than cobra lash um, you can change things around uh, the skill tree you don't have to run the same skill tree as me you can change things up um, you don't have to take uh, this one written in blood you could probably take something else you could even go down here go to bravery go to um, out of the gladiator if you want and you can get more leech if you want more damage and you can even go for this like more damage right for more poison damage really depends on which one you want but this is the skill tree that I went for <clears throat> I'm currently level 80 so if I were to go to level 90 right I'll probably get some jewel slots jewels you want HP crit multiplier crit damage cold damage no cold damage I mean poison damage and all this kind of stuff attack speed no problemo you can grab um, this one as well this one is good Right, you get jewel slots, projectile, this one, one point for a jewel slot. Probably that's it for level 90, right? And probably grab we can grab finish all the 
all the other notes you know that you haven't finished grabbing like this one six percent hp is, is a lot of hp so probably want to grab this one as well probably level 90 you will be you will be from 80 to 90 you will be grabbing all the jewel slots and putting in jewels but that is only if you have good jewels and you want to invest more into this build right if you don't really want to invest that much into a build you probably don't want to take jewels because you don't want to buy all those expensive jewels so that's about it this build is very simple i'll put my path of building in the link below i'll create a path of building there i'll put it down below hope you guys enjoy this build all right